I know that usually this is the part where Mills gives his he's great at introductions. Like I, I don't know how he got it down, but you know what? No Mills here today. You got LJ. So what's up? Welcome to the Lookout, episode one eighty nine. Um, yeah, no meals this episode. I wasn't there last week. Uh, he held it down. I appreciate him very, 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 very much. Um, you know, giving his thoughts on a lot of things happening in anime, uh, mostly Daima, which, you know, I will, I will, we'll probably touch on a little bit here, but Mills isn't here. This feels like when your parents leave and you're throwing a house party because although he did it alone. I didn't do it alone, and I'm not doing it alone. I am here with the one and only, my guy. You've heard us both on the pod before. AD, what's good? Big Eye Boys B- reunion. Big Eye Boys reunion. <laughs> I'm telling you, have, have, you ever, have you ever thrown a house party? It's been a long ass time. Like, yeah, yeah, like when you're like, like in high school or something, like your parents is like, we going, you know. We going to Florida for the weekend. Mm-hmm. No, nah, I ain't do nothing like that. No, no. But I did have a house party before where, you know, parents were like, yeah, you know, just, just keep that shit down. You feel me? Y'all can stay in the basement or whatever. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't nothing crazy like nothing like that. But as an adult, though, I've had my, my fair share. I know. Adult ones are fun. Like, my, my, my parents would go out of town when i was in high school we never threw parties but we would always just like invite girls over like that was always like the the thing we'll clean up the crib and everything make it look all nice yeah Yeah. nah moms ain't really like do that shit for real for real like she wasn't trying to have too many people over but then we would have like cookouts or whatever like that and it would turn into like a semi house party you feel me like so it'd be like whoever you can invite almost whoever as long as y'all not on a reckless shit. Nah, no, yeah, for sure. You know, the parents gonna, the parents gonna do what they do. Oh you know yeah. What I'm parents, and as an adult, I get it now. Like you know, you got the adult drinks and you know, what I'm saying alcohol being poured around and everything like that. That be the that be the real party for real. But you know, I just don't like a, niggas a, having my address. That. That, that's <laughs> like, I don't. I don't. I usually just don't like people having my. I don't want you to know where I live. This is my place of peace. Uh, so if you really like now, I feel that if I invite you over to come, like I really fuck with you because I'm just like I'm like yeah. to my house, my home. But no, I like you know growing up though. Like we used to. Uh, I come from a really big family, so our our get-togethers turn into you know turn to damn near raves it'd be so many people mm. in and out of the house and so no nah, that would be you know grandma house type you, shit, know? you know like that's how you do. everybody like at, at, at grandma house yeah like my great grandma her house is like you know that was ground zero for all of us like you can go in mm-hmm. there any day of the week at any time and it'll probably be at least 10 15 people there you know, mm-hmm. that's just on a you know a random Tuesday. Like, don't let it be a birthday or somebody else's thing, because then we really getting it cracked. Oh, people, yeah, you know. it's, it's you know the whole block taking up. So, um, but yeah, man. But the big eye boys are back. We're here. Uh, so last week, Mills talked a lot about Dima and how he feels that Dima is it's not as popping. It's not you know it doesn't have the the luster in which that we are used to seeing Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z entities have. Um, from your perspective, what do you think is the, the the big factor that's really holding it back right now? In terms of, I feel like, um, more online presence, kind of the uh, a conversation around, you know, being an actual conversation happening. Like, what do you think right now is is the is the thing holding it back? I think the main because I'm I'm caught up on Daima and personally I'm really enjoying the story so far. I think the biggest is like two things. The first thing is like just the premise in general. Like it's another Goku reset. You know, it's still following Goku, but it's like GT 2.0. 
So it's like, nigga, Goku's a kid again. You know, it, it really, and it, and we're back before the Boo Saga. So there's no Beerus, there's no Tournament of Power, nothing that involves super related things. You know, so that's probably like the biggest thing. Um, the other biggest thing, in my opinion, is just like the kind of the pacing that goes along with it. Like when you're watching each episode, it's it's more slower. It's, it's like slower and more methodical. They're thinking through each thing a little bit more, though, like all the details, because you're in a new world, you're in the demon world. And it's it's just um, a lot more moving parts so so to speak like but I, at the same time there's like four different episodes where niggas get their shit stolen and it's like bro we doing that shit again like <laughs> why are we doing this in the beginning of every episode like they went to sleep woke up they shit got took they get a new ship it either breaks down and get it took again you know it's like dang like that's literally like the first four or five episodes of diamond and them trying to figure out well how are we going to get to the next place you know so it's like it's a little bit of the pacing and then just like the fact that it's kind of like a reset but overall for me i'm enjoying diamond like uh, it's it's doing it's, it's introducing a lot of different things from like past dragon ball stuff and trying to like flesh out the story and the the universe a little bit more like <clears throat> have you seen the latest episode yeah i have it was good. Yeah. Um, yeah. um you know, and, and I agree with Elias, like a lot of what you are saying. I do think that within these first nine episodes, there is a level of like redundancy that has kind of happened. Um where it takes away I, I think it the, the redundancy makes the pacing feel much slower. A lot of the same gags, a lot of the same jokes. Um However, I do think that the world building right now and kind of how they are playing it out is has been enjoyable. I do think that the 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 biggest thing with Daima and the biggest downfall they have, or I don't even say downfall, the challenge that they have is the fact that Super is still going or was still going. I, I believe it's still on break right now, right? the manga Mm -hmm. so yeah you but there's still more story to super especially the arc after the tournament of power arc and the current arc that just finished up if you're a reader you know that there are some good things happening there um Mm -hmm. you know super has been gone for a while now and i think when they announced that hey a new dragon ball series is coming uh you know it's it's like okay you know, we're, we're getting super back, you know, like that's what we're thinking. We're thinking like yeah. we're about to, you know, get the continuation. Then they're like, nope, it's Diamond, something completely new, some different, something that's not canon. And you're like, oh, fuck. Then you get the trailer. Then it's like Goku and them get wished to kids again. And it's just like, oh, we know how this goes because we saw this same exact <laughs> thing in GT of Goku getting wished exactly. back into a kid. Um, and so I think this really, they didn't set themselves up for success from the jump because. I think Dragon Ball fans were really clamoring and asking for one thing. You know, it's, you know, they're saying, hey, I want chocolate cake. That's what I want. I want chocolate cake. Please give me chocolate cake. And you come out and you give them an apple pie. Apple pie ain't bad. Apple pie is really good. It just ain't it's what just I not what the hell I want. <laughs> oh, and so, I, you know, I, I think that is, um, I think that's just like the hardest part of just being like, okay, like getting over that hump. Um, and I, but the other thing with this too is like, and you can kind of tell just by like how things have been presented, but like ever since Dragon Ball as a whole, like came back with like, you know, Battle of Gods and Resurrection F and everything, uh, it's just been kind of disjointed of okay we want to keep the story going you know merchandising and you know let's flesh out a little bit more beyond you know we, we know gta ain't canon so let's kind of rework all the things that we've had up to that point before like the end of z type deal you know and then we're going back again so it's like we're just trying to keep going back to points where um like what i'm trying to say is like Daima takes place, I want to say, like, maybe a 
few weeks after the end of the Boo saga or whatever, because they see like what happened with Majin Boo. You see um, some of the characters who are the antagonists um, in the area of, you know, Majin, like the Boo stuff. And you, like with the latest episode, you see that somebody took a, a piece of Boo and recreated a new character with the with Cybermen. Now, that in itself is kind of cool because like we already know what Cybermen are, but we're kind of getting like background details on where Cybermen came from, where, you know, Mechians actually came from. All of these different things that are like fleshing out the lore and kind of like the questions that we've had as fans just getting answered in a different way, but also like filling out things that we really didn't know about you know what i'm saying so like they're they're going back and like taking different details and aspects that we didn't really get to see and kind of like building upon that but it's just a fact of like y'all could have introduced this beforehand but I, you know toriyama didn't think that far ahead so i guess we're, we're 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 filling in the blanks now and getting a lot of those questions answered and in a they're trying to do it in a fulfilling way like the action in uh dragon ball Dima has been really good. Um, it has been. It's, like it's, the it's quality, like the art is great. Um, mm -hmm. I think that first, and I'm not mad at like the story beats either. Like it's it's really good. Yeah, I, I don't know. It gives me that sense of adventure, um, that we've kind of been missing. I feel in Dragon Ball, like lately, it's mm -hmm. been real more. Let's uh, power levels and power scaling and you know new transformations which obviously we all love um and i even just think mm -hmm. now as anime fans that's what we're kind of looking for i mean i think that's what's popping is like that's what people want they, it's not that they don't care about a story but they're, they're we're here for the action sequences we're here for the mm -hmm. you know i think that was a big thing that people didn't like about mha and what started turning them off to mha is that MHA would have these flesh out moments? People are just like, "Hey, I don't want none of that shit." Fuck this. <laughs> hey man, we might have to we might have to touch on MHA a little bit later. Yeah, um, we, we can for sure. Um, okay, okay. You know, but yeah, no, no, I completely agree. Like, nah, but I think I think Dima is definitely. I think it's better than what people are giving its credit or giving it credit for. It's been really enjoyable so far. Um yeah and I'm, I'm excited to see what what it what it continues to do um in this mm. realm of new anime thankfully today we got a bunch of news <laughs> oh yeah uh jump festa is coming soon uh it's happening december 20 or uh, december 21st and 22nd and we are already getting uh announcements what's going to be popping there and today we have gotten um, the two biggest, I feel the two biggest things that everybody's been waiting for. Uh, JJK is coming back, calling mm -hmm. games. We got a teaser for it. There's going to be a, a, probably an official announcement of everything else at Jump Festa. And we have Demon Slayer Infinity Castle arc. The first movie will be coming to theaters in 2025. Um, you know, they released a trailer for that. Uh, let's start with JJK. Uh, ends it ended this year. Very mixed reviews on the ending. I think it just in general, the calling games has had um, it had been very polarizing. Also, how do you feel mm -hmm. that the anime will will do you think it will either help? Or do you think it will kind of have a drawback on the culling games and how fans will receive it? Um, if I'm being honest, I think it's going to help like in the same way that and I'm not saying like Demon Slayer, but Demon Slayer is better or anything like that. But for both of these, I've always felt like the anime have always enhanced the storytelling that the manga couldn't do, like everything in motion. So I feel like 
will see the the culling games and while we've enjoyed like a lot of the culling games even though the ending was you know very mixed i think that the anime will help flesh out a lot of those details and make it a lot more enjoyable especially because we're going to see a lot of things coming together like the fact that yuta is coming back and people have only seen him mentioned or if you have it or if you've seen jjk zero he was only there you know so like i think that the culling games is going to give people a, a really good idea on like where Gege wants to go or what what he wanted to do with the story I feel in the best way I can explain this is like how people are feeling about Bleach Thousand Year Blood War now yeah like if, if, if you're a fan of Bleach and you know how uh, Kubo wrote that last arc and how everything went about with that and how he's telling the story now with Thousand Year I think that's what Culling Games is going to be for JJK I could see that. Um and I think that's a that's a very fair assessment. I think that um yeah, when season 2 or this is supposed to be season 3, damn, right? Yeah. Season 3. Yeah. Jesus. Uh I think <laughs> that once we get season 3, once calling games happens, there will be I, the action and everything coming to life. I feel will help the story a lot. Um, I hope that obviously, you know, animes aren't one of one adaptions of the manga. So I'm wondering more of what they will cut out or condense mm-hmm. uh, to see how it'll flow a little bit better. Uh, you know, some of the some of the extra explanations and the you know side stories and stuff like that. Like I wonder what will what will make it and what won't. But I think I mean I think JJK once again is still a very um it was still a very popular anime. It hasn't hit the, it hasn't hit the MHA level of hate yet. <laughs> people yeah. people haven't turned on it just yet. Uh, so I, I'm one like I said, uh, calling games. I feel is going to be the the point where it's like, all right, people are gonna stay face on it. They're gonna turn on it. Um, I mean, you know the point where people are gonna actually turn on it, like. <laughs> oh. There's like two points, two two distinct points in culling games that people are going to turn on it for. Yeah, probably. How far do you think they go? Do you think they do the whole thing? Where do we think you where season three ends? I feel like it should end at least at the prison realm. Okay. That part. I could see that. I think that would be a good stopping point. And then season four just be the, the the complete series. Yeah, yeah. I could see that. I'm not mad at that. I think that would be a good kind of cliffhanger to end the season on. Because that last part mm-hmm. is definitely a little bit drug out. And I think that there's just enough there for um for a final season. So I could see that happening. Yeah. Um next up we got uh, Demon Slayer, as I said before, Infinity Castle arc, theaters 2025. Um, they are keeping the movie jig alive and well. Do you think these movies... We're getting one movie a year. We probably will. I'm sorry. Do you think <laughs> that these... Do you think that these movies end up breaking the Mugen Train arc records? Yes. Or do you think people or yeah. do you think people are gonna finally catch on and be like, nah, enough. Enough of this. I mean, I so here's the thing, right? Like I want to say that people are gonna catch on, but like when did Mugen Train come out? Like 2020? Like it was sometime during the pandemic or like, you know, around that area. So I feel like because people are actually outside now we can go to the movies again and i think um, enough people well here's the thing like let me preface this by saying i haven't watched the late last season like the one that came out this year whatever the train oh, the tra- was. But it, um, it was nothing it, if you we read it we talked about it we know what happened. Yeah, like, yeah. It was, it was buff, you know it, like, yeah that's what it was all about you know they was, they was in the gym it was like the weights you know but that's the other thing like it feels like the the hype for Demon Slayer has gone down 
So that's why I'm very skeptical on what it could actually do. Like now, that being said, I feel like the fans, us as fans, should hype up. Hey, this is the finale. Like this is the beginning of the end, and a lot of this shit is kind of crazy. So I think as fans, we can hype people up by saying, you know, just watch that or read it before you get to the theater, so you don't be confused about what's about to happen because there's about to be some crazy shit that's going down, right? But like that's kind of the onus on us and Jump in general to kind of push that narrative because otherwise, you know, I it won't and that's going to be a sad case where people don't come out to see this movie and then you're trying to build up the hype for the next movie and if the sales don't pan out well how are you gonna how, you had these plans how what are you gonna do just direct the crunchy roll them like <laughs> to, to, I mean, oh, you, you know what i'm saying like <laughs> how, how dragon ball super did it they can release the movies and then just break it up into a small. I mean, I mean, they did it before. Not even Dragon Ball Super. Like how they did it before. That's what I'm saying. But like, <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, you you build up all this hype for movies, and then like the first movie don't do well, and it's like, oh shit. Well, I'm as we might as well just break them up in the uh, episodes at this point. Like, why didn't y'all do that in the first place? Because niggas ain't show up and show for with their wallets. Like, no. Hey, like, you true. know, so that, <laughs> I, I feel it though. You know, Listen, you, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to. You know, I'm trying to get this paper. And y'all messing me up. That's what I'm saying. Like, if it ain't good. But that's that's neither here nor there. I, just in general, like, that's going to be the tough thing to do. So either as fans, we support them for, like, this one last hurrah and they don't drag it. Or, you know, we also show, like, hey, y'all y'all been dragging it for the last few years. So I mean, y'all just go ahead and wrap this shit up. You feel me? Yeah, I could see that. Um, uh, running down the rest of the list, some other fun things. Hell Paradise season two. Um, really, really excited for that. I love, yeah. I loved season one. Yeah. Um, I, you know, Hell Paradise was my thing, man. Yeah, and you mean you you've been telling me to read it for a very long time. So I haven't read it, but you have you've definitely been championing it. Um, I think season yeah, but no, season one was great. I think it really um you know it 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 filled the violent you know the violent void that i needed Mm -hmm. but you know i like i said the the world building there though kind of the you know the introduction to the gods um all these other things that has happened um you know i'll probably go back and rewatch season one so i could completely refresh myself but yeah no i Season one was great. I really enjoyed it. I think season two is another one that has been highly anticipated. Finally coming. And I think it's going to be like it. Like season one was just like, you know, the ice, the the beginning and like just setting the stage for all the stuff that is going to fall out in season two. Like my, my biggest thing for for Hell's Paradise has always been like as far as reading it the pacing and the paneling so like how things like come come out when you flip a page is like damn it, it shit getting wicked you feel me um and <laughs> and when you get to we get to the second half it's it kicks it up a notch because they finally understand like their powers and like what they're on the island for and what the the gods are on the island for and you know the 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 island itself and how it came to be um it's funny because like when you get to when you read when you read the beginning and then you, like you get to the end of it and i'm not going to spoil any of that it's like okay this this kind of came full circle just because of who the villain is you know and like who gabi maru is so it, it long story short i think people will be pleasantly surprised by where the narrative goes and like things will get kind of chaotic and you're like how is this even happening like where do these people come from like how do you even understand how to use these swords and everything like um yeah i, I think people will be pleasantly surprised by hell's, hell's paradise season two like it's, it's it's going to get better if you didn't enjoy the first season if you were expecting more action well, the yeah, second I season mean, will fill all of that season had a, a fair amount of action in a fair amount oh, yeah. of like character development, um, 
So, yeah, I think season two, like you said, you went, and when we ended, we were really, like you said, just scratching the surface of what this island, what this world is all about. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you're just getting introduced to, like, some of the creatures and the other, like, the gods and all these things that are on there and, like, what their point is. So, I, uh, I think where it ended was, it, it was smooth for me. I liked it. I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. cool. We can, we can keep it pushing from there. Um... What else is on this list? Uh oh, Chainsaw Man, Reese, movie. Oh yeah. It's about time. We have how long has it been since Chainsaw Man season one? Two years? I I think it was twenty twenty one. So like three or four years. Twenty 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 two. October twelfth, twenty twenty two. Okay, so it was so two okay. years. We we've been missing on Chainsaw Man. Um, no, we're gonna get some announcements about the movie. Uh, is it is it confirmed that this is going to be just the next arc? Correct. Uh yes, I'm pretty sure that's well, the, the idea. The, this will be the Bomb Devil. Hmm. Okay. This will this will and then this will be exciting. I'm gonna enjoy it. the. It's it's gonna be a a very fun. Well, I don't know about fun, but like it's gonna be a very chaotic type of fun ride with Dingy and his his first girlfriend. Man, like it's, you know, it's, it's, that's just that's just all I'm gonna say. Like his first girlfriend, it's gonna be a very good ride. Uh, I I want to know like where we're going to go after this. Are we going to have another season for that that last part for part one or are we going to do another movie for like Gun Devil or something, you know? Like, that's where I'm really curious about. Yeah. Because we know that it reads is like just this one section, but like you know, there's still a fair amount after that. Are you a fan of now people just doing movies for arcs? Like I, just, uh, I, think, I think it's just become. I mean, within the last few years, it has kind of become the norm. I only like it when Dragon Ball does it. I'm not gonna lie, and I that might be some like basic ass meathead. <laughs> say, but, like, <laughs> but I don't know, man. Like I would prefer them to to like cutting down. I, I prefer the movies, but I hate when and when you have the movies like with Demon Slayer, you get Mugen Train and you cut them up in the episodes. Like why don't why not just do that in the first place? You know, I hate when anime does that. So like while I like you know Dragon Ball doing the Resurrection F and stuff, I hate you the the episodes because that's like twenty something weeks of wasting my time or just like I can put that to something else. You know what I'm saying? Like. I like it when it just gets straight to the point. It's like, what, 90 minutes? No more than, like, 120? And we're out. Versus just waiting week after week for the next episode or something, you know? And that's just 20 minutes each week. And I grant it, it's 20 minutes each week. But let me get these two hours out of the way and I can go about my day. Yeah, you know what I'm I feel it. We're in a binge era now. So yeah, yeah, like, no, that's, and I, that's and, and I agree. Like, even now, my watching habits... I can't watch weekly TV anymore. It's really, yeah. it's really hard for me to watch weekly. Um, even with like Don to Don and Blue Box, like I, you know, I watched the first episodes and Blue Box, I read Don to Don, I read a uh, part of it, so I have a good idea of like what's going to happen and what's happening. But it's hard for me to sit there and feel like I want to watch all that. Like I would rather sit down, dedicate a day. Or dedicate like a weekend to just cranking it all out. Mm-hmm. Let me just watch it all, mm-hmm. and then I'll wait for the next. You know, when the next season two drop, and once I think that's just watcher and viewer habits. Um, and now you yeah. know we're we're going back to kind of weekly TV, weekly releases. Um, you know, cable shit. You know, like we're going back yeah. to that. Uh, and I think I know for, for me, I'm like, man, I I am a binger. I will binge it. Like, give me a season, give me two seasons, 
and I'll just crank it all out right there and, 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 you know, be able to hyper focus on like one thing for a little bit of time because it's easy for things to get lost in a shuffle watching it weekly for me. Oh yeah, for sure. And that's like, and a lot of the, like Netflix, you know, was the the front runner for binging tv but now they're even starting to get into that like with sakamoto days comes out they i'm pretty sure they already announced that that's gonna be like a weekly drop you know what i'm saying so like i don't know how why we're going to that model you know if you need to take the time to just like batch it all up and release it i'm pretty sure we as fans and watchers wouldn't mind that because we're gonna get it out the way but i think also what comes with that is like you know we want everything right now so like we're just going to talk about it for that one weekend and that'll be the end of it versus like because it's going to be a weekly drop everybody can come back to the timeline and say oh shit this happened this week you know this happened next week and it's going to be a constant thing of just coming back so even at the end of it all when it's all said and done for the people who don't binge it or who haven't like been watching it weekly they'll at least have the experiencing it experience of binging it at the end so when everything's all over they can fully immerse themselves so i think that's on one hand it kind of sucks as a watcher and you know it's it's good for you know the business model but on the other hand it's like i mean we're we're discussing it the discussion won't die you know yeah, you there's know, a lot of anime think, that come out I that just now <laughs> too that's the big thing of uh, mm -hmm. the internet and I, social media, I feel, plays such a big role in the popularity of things that you want to keep the conversation now um, about what you know about the show. I've, yeah. I've pumped a lot of money into this, you know, like I've pumped a lot of like resources and time. I want to stretch this out and get it, you know, get the conversation popping about this as much as I can, um, instead of mm -hmm. you know dropping it all at once and it being a two week thing and then people forget about it in two weeks. Which is also understandable. I just think that once, like you said, we have been so with Netflix and all these things came out, that had became the norm for so long, mm -hmm. and then now it's like, okay, like we're gonna go back to now these weekly TVs and these weekly drops, and you know, you see it like people still, you know, it, it helps. You know, people still talk about it. Yeah. I mean, you even look at something like the Penguin, where it was just like, you know essentially what was it every sunday it dropped like every sunday it was like yeah. my whole timeline was filled with nothing but how oz is wilding <laughs> you know oh <laughs> uh, so i get it i understand it from a business standpoint like i said just my viewing habits and how i typically watch things i've just been so accustomed just like man it's great to have it all right there for me to binge it and i'll wait for season two when season two needs to come um and that's why I haven't been like pressed to watch stuff for real this year. Like I know we're gonna have the the best and worst episode, and like just letting things build up over this year has been kind of pleasant because now it's at the end. Like even for like the the fall season, we're getting towards the end of that. I think there's like a couple of more episodes for all of these shows, and we can actually dive in and watch a fair amount of stuff. Like you know we did. I know you talked about with Storia, and that was that was some gas. But like you know, we were able to watch the whole thing dubbed. You feel? Yeah, me? you know, I was like, man, <laughs> get to watch this in English. I can clean my crib and you know see how everything else is rolling. Yeah, yeah. listen to it. Um, yeah, you know, and I think this year has definitely been a strong year too. And but going through this list, next year is looking like an even a stronger year. Uh, like I said, Spy Family season three, uh, Kaiju number eight season two, plus a movie. Don to Don, mm. which has shot itself to the moon, be Listen. because we're already getting season two next year. Anime of the year, two years in a row, baby. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> you know, uh, and and Don to Don isn't one of those things that it, it's not just some typical shonen battle thing. Like it is wacky. It's weird. There's a lot of different things happening, some off the wall things happening. Um, you know, the, the, there's some edge lord fan servicey things, but how they present it in the way like it's it's goofy and people want to watch it, and I think that's kind of the that is the surprising part for me. 
But I felt Don, yeah. I was like, Don did not could either work in like it, one or two ways. Like people are either gonna love it, or I feel people are gonna be kind of turned off by it because of once again the raunchiness and the extras and all that. But it has really captured and like captivated people, and it's really cool to see how they're just once again Netflix is capitalizing on the fact that it's like, no, let's keep this ball rolling, like let's keep it going. Mm-hmm. I'm just really happy to see like so many people are finally getting to see the things that we have championed over the last few years, like through big eyes and everything. And like those are actually getting pushed to the forefront now. Like, hey, man, Um, couple more rumors before we wrap this episode up. Uh, Some new anime adaptions that may be coming or rumored next year. Uh also included with the last season of my hero academia vigilantes um is rumored to have some type of announcement um which will be great i think vigilante is a good it's a good it's like a good diff, it's like a it's a different vantage point for the my hero universe um mm-hmm. i think it is rooted and grounded a little bit more characters um the main characters and the people you say like they're older so they i feel it's a little bit more relatable um i think vigilantes will be like i think it'll do well i think it'll be received very well so i'm excited mm-hmm. to hear something like uh if it does get announced um uh, kindergarten wars is another one oh, that's actually surprising to me like kindergarten wars is really good it's 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 really good if you if you don't know about it, it's a bunch of like hitmen, ex assassins, or like you know people who work in in the black market or shady businesses, working as like kindergarten teachers and daycare uh, teachers, and they're protecting the kindergarten from a bunch of assassins who are trying to kill or kidnap these kids. So I mean, it's like a kind of a different take on Spy Family. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Um. Your favorite Taco P's original sin. Listen, man, <laughs> you're a sicko. <laughs> you're so sick. I don't. Get it. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a good feel movie or a show or whatever. Like it's gonna. It's the feelings are gonna come out. You're gonna. You're gonna get to Taco P trying to save. <laughs> First of all. If you don't know what Takapi Original Sin is, it is a very short series. It's about 15 or 16 chapters. And it's about an alien who comes to Earth who wants to spread happiness to all the people around. So he comes and meets this uh, five-year-old girl who is being bullied. You know, she she's getting stuff written on her desk. Uh, a lot of trash talking to her. And so he wants to make her happy. And, there, and from there, it goes into like a very dark... Dark, very dark. Well, it takes a very dark turn, several turns actually, uh, within the first four or five chapters. Um, but it does turn out fairly well. Like just, 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 just stick it out. If you know what Made in Abyss is, it's kind of like that kind of dark. Oh, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. I can't believe you're championing this stuff, man. It's crazy, ridiculous. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, I think the big thing. I don't know if it's going to be announced at Jump Fest or not, but I think the one of the biggest rumors have has released. Um, Kagura Bachi. I am. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, we'll we'll definitely talk about it next week because Kagura Bachi Mania is. It, I this is something I haven't seen in a while. Yeah. When was the what was the last series like Demon Slayer? Demon Slayer and JJK were like the last. You gotta think to have. like from chapter one, like before chapter one. Even yeah, like before chapter one, Loki. <laughs> like since chapter one, Gugubachi is has had the rocket strapped to it. And it has delivered every week since. Yeah. 
I think that that series, unless the ending is just that bad, it really can't do no wrong right now. It can't. And now it's, I think within a year, it's already getting greenlit. Like, I, it, is, I can't really pinpoint, because even JJK, I think JJK was super popular, but it took a few chapters. Mm-hmm. Um... Demon Slayer. I'm to think. Uh, Demon Slayer was. I think it was the anime was more popular than the manga at first. Yeah, because really the anime is what did it. God, I can't. I'm trying to. Think. I really like even like what was it? The Promise Neverland kind kind of got popping, and people went back to the manga because season two. But like season one itself made the the manga popular. Like this is, I'm saying, like this is the for me, and I'll be, it'll, I would love to hear for anyone who's listening to this episode if y'all could think of anything of of within the last, I'll say, ten years, where it's like the manga chapter one was released, it had that much popularity, and then within the same year it was greenlit for an anime. Like it's it's kind of unheard of, but. How quickly kind of Kaguro Bachi just once again the train just kept rolling. Mm-hmm. Um so yeah, that I mean I'm I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to see what happened. I was I was hating after, I wasn't even saying I was hating, but I'm definitely like they were crowning it the, the next big thing. I was just like, we ain't even get chapter yeah. one yet. Like y'all doing yeah, right know, now. Like, <laughs> like, listen, don't let this fail because I'm gonna talk shit. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah, pop right. my shit immediately. Um so yeah, I, I mean, we're, we're I'm excited to see what happens uh, with that. Uh, is there anything else that you think of that was you know rumor? I know we got the the Tokyo Ghoul project that's been really hinted at for a really long time. Um, oh, I saw like some stuff with the game or whatever like that. The the smallest thing that I can think of right now is like Hunter Hunter came back and then you know it's it's on hiatus right now. Um. But there's rumors that, well, no, never mind. That was like, it was like a bait tweet. They were saying like a new season of Hunter Hunter is coming out to Netflix, but it's really just the rest of Hunter Hunter. So like the end of um, Chimera Ant going all the way through to like Jing and all the the stuff at the end. Oh, so they're just getting what Crunchyroll already had. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, well. 2025 is really really shaping up to be another great year of anime um super excited a lot of things that i think we've been waiting for i think there's going to be some new things that will really uh pop off for fans um so yeah well this is this has been fun the big eye boys were back we returned Got no limit. They have to do some more stuff coming up. Yeah, you know? listen. Like, oh yeah, me and AD got got some special things also coming next year. The boys will be back. Uh, so expect an announcement for that soon. But yeah, all right. Well, we got to clean up now because <laughs> Mills gonna Mills, come back home like what Mills, the fuck? Mills, did you guys? Mills was texting that <laughs> the plane landed. <laughs> yeah, we, we still ain't we still ain't patched the hole in the wall that was made and you know the, his favorite vase got broke on accident so we gotta you know we gotta we gotta figure it out but nah, yeah, we appreciate yeah. y'all thank you for tuning in to uh another episode of the lookout next week we are wrapping up the year um so super excited the whole gang will be here you know, y'all know where to find us. Make sure y'all listen, subscribe wherever you listen to. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube. Um, man, yeah, y'all already know what it is. All right, appreciate y'all. Peace.